I'm living very close to my dream life. Uh, <laughs> I'm so pretentious. Hello everyone, I hope you're doing fantastic today. So today I'm gonna share with you my six tips for following your dreams and kind of reach your goals in life. Um, Cause I get asked that question a lot on how you can change your current life and kind of get closer to your ideal life. Although there's no perfect life, but you know, kind of following your path and what it is that you want to do in life. Um, I myself am living the life that I would have liked to live a few years ago and it's by no, we, by no means perfect, I mean it's as messy as anybody's other you know, life but it is kind of what I've envisioned myself doing. I've been traveling for four years, I have my own business and I can travel pretty much from wherever I want and this is not something that's been given to me, I had to you know, work for it and kind of push myself through my fears so I thought I would show you what has helped me so that maybe it can help you as well. Uh, so yeah. Tip number one coming now. So the first one, it is a little bit of a serious one and a bit of a sad one, maybe for some of you. But for me, it really helps uh, to think that our days on earth are limited, that we are not immortal, that one day we're gonna die. We don't know when, we don't know how. And so to know that no day is guaranteed, uh, we, <sighs> We tend to think that you know you're gonna end of old age and you're gonna you know be healthy until the end but that's not necessarily true not for everybody anyway so for me it really helps to think that I'm healthy now that uh, I don't know what's gonna happen tomorrow and that if there is something that I want to do I better start working towards it now because I don't know how much I have left and I know for some of you it might bring a lot of anxiety you know thinking about death but to me it actually pushes me to live more fully every day so sorry to start with a bit of a bummer we're all gonna die kind of tip but uh, if you start thinking about it I think that you will live your life a lot more fully than if you thought that you're gonna live forever the second tip is do not wait for the perfect moment because if you're waiting for the perfect moment you will never achieve anything um, I say it's fantastic to prepare and you should set yourself a goal and work towards it to do whatever it is that you want to do for me it was traveling so I did save a little bit of money I kind of informed myself on how I would work and kind of set up a system to make money while I was traveling but I was in no way in the perfect moment when I jumped into the um, adventure and if I waited for that I would have never done anything I would have stayed in my job I would have kept my flat and I would have you know kept my fears from doing what I really wanted to do so I say set yourself a goal set yourself a timeline don't wait for the perfect moment because it will never never arrive Tip number three is don't let the fear of failure stop you. It will be such a shame. It's okay to be afraid of failure because it is a thing that in human life happens. Uh, so it's okay to be afraid. Just don't let it stop you from trying new things, from trying the things that you want to do. You will probably fail at some point in the route to your goal, but that's just a necessary step to learning and growing. Nobody was born knowing everything and what I like to always remember is that everybody was once a beginner so you don't have to already know everything to try and do what you want to do. You learn through the struggle and through the trying new things. Uh, so yes, don't let the fear of failure stop you, it would be a shame for that to happen. Tip number four is reach out to people that you know are already doing what you're planning to do or part of what you want to do. It's very easy if you're looking to take a path in life that it's less beaten uh, to find yourself quite isolated and people around you might not understand you and relate to what it is that you're wanting to do. So it's very important for you to find your own tribe of people that think like you and uh, that can give you also tips. So definitely look out for groups online of whatever it is that you want to do and I'm pretty sure you're gonna find someone. And also if you have seen maybe somebody on social media that's doing exactly what you want to do or that you really, really strive to have the life that they are having, then definitely reach out to them. Um, for me personally, I receive a lot of 
questions of people, you know, how asking how can they leave their job and start traveling. And uh, I'm always really glad to answer, to receive those uh, messages. Although I would say if you are <laughs> wanting to get a reply from somebody, make sure that you ask detailed questions. Don't ask too, ma too much of a broad question because it makes it much harder to answer. So for example, um, don't ask, you know, how can I support myself while traveling? Although that's a really, really relevant question, but for a stranger, it's very ar hard to answer because we don't know your, your, your skill set, what's your background, what it is that you can do, how much you want to travel, where you, you want to travel. So those are very broad questions that are kind of hard to answer. Uh, well, if you ask very specific questions, it's more likely that the person is going to answer to you in a much more detailed and insightful way than if you were to ask very, very broad questions that nobody can answer about you really. Uh, so yes, definitely reach out and find your tribe and reach out to people that are already doing it um, right now and ask on point good questions so that you can get an answer from them <laughs> and squeeze their brain. Tip number five is break down what your goal is and break it down into smaller achievable steps. Uh, it can be very overwhelming to see maybe an objective that is you know, quite big and requires a lot of effort and maybe even time uh, and think I will never be able to achieve that. So sit down and think of yourself, what can I do to break down this goal into more achievable steps that will keep you motivated and bring you closer to your objective. Tip number six is tell people around you what it is that you're wanting to do and the timeline of that plan. Uh, that's not because you want support necessarily from them because a lot of people, if you're planning something crazy that's a bit different from their life, then they're probably not going to support you. They're going to even criticize you. But it's more for uh, telling it to the world and being held accountable for what it is that you said because I myself, I can think of a lot of things and have a lot of dreams and then I talk myself out of it because I say it's too hard or it's too difficult, it's too complicated, it's a stupid idea. While if I have already told someone that that's what I'm wanting to do, I'm gonna do it because I am stubborn. And I think that's for me anyway, personally, it's a good reminder. If I didn't tell anybody that I'm gonna talk myself out of it. Uh, that happened with the bike. Uh, I wasn't even sure myself that I was, I would have been able to do the, um, in the license in two weeks and then buy a bike and then sell the, the van. I mean, it is a complicated thing. So if I hadn't told anyone, I think I would have just said, well, nobody knows anyway that I want to do that. So I'm not going to do it because it's too complicated. Well, because I had told people uh, around me, uh, I am stubborn and a little bit proud. So I was just like, yes, I'm going to prove them that I'm going to do what I'm going to say. And so I did it. And I mean, this might not work for everybody. A lot of people say that, you know, they don't want to tell people around them because they're afraid of jinxing their plans or you know getting a lot of criti crit criticism so yeah it might not work for everybody but for me it really does work uh, and again don't look for necessarily approval from people or uh, advice from people because people they might not understand what it is that you plan to do but I think just telling them and putting it out of the world it's um, very important so I hope you enjoyed this uh, video that I've filmed for the past two months, like in various weird locations. Um, and let me know which one of those tips, if any, you found more useful. And also if you have any tips for other people uh, to, you know, follow their dreams and just push forward and not stopping, basically, until they get there. So yeah, thank you for watching and I shall see you very soon. Bye bye.